Hey, come back to uh, Master B online tutorial video to teach you how to uh, print on mugger today. This is a mugger, and I'll teach you how to print a mugger by focus up by the UV printer. So before you want before you want to print a uh, on picture on a mugger, you need to get a mugger printing device from Focus Digital, and also. Four pieces of connection steers go with the marker print device. Okay, now I'll teach you how to install the mark, the marker device. Before we install the marker device, we need to power on the machine and making the down the table to the bottom position. At this, as as low as enough. And then we pop up the machine. And we open the cover. OK. Then we get. OK, now you must uh, pay attention that if you bought the rotary device, also you also bought the uh, market printing device with focus from focus, they, you've got two, kind, two kinds of different size the connection steer. So the short one is for bottle printing device, and the longer one is for market printing. So don't make the mistake to, to install the wrong connection steer. OK, so the same as, the, same as we install the bottle print device, we also take the connection hole here for one, and another one for the right side, and also one for back left one for right left <clears throat> okay so after we connect then we take this and when we when we go to when we see the bottle printing device uh, marker print device we can see they have one two three four holes to connect with the steer and so must remember that the short one is at front but this way, and also before you install, you must remember the the gap, the gap between the edge to the aluminum is same seventy nine millimeter. If the wrong position, so the printing will overlap. We are not at the middle of the mugger. So pay attention to the the size. Of the edge to this edge is this edge is 79 millimeter, and also and the the hole you connect the pole is for one two number three, and here is fixed no change. So if you change the position, and and this must be changed the same to be sure the marker point top point is at the middle of the white print head and color print head. After that we put the device to the bar to the pole. Yeah like that uh, be sure it's fast and wear Okay, up there, like this, okay, no change, no, no, no shaking and fasting wear. And then when we pop on the machine, and then we check if the, the lowering is lowering or not, we can take one mark. We can take one mark to try to see if the marker is moving or not. So right now the marker is moving.
Okay, so so when you finish the installation of the bot, the mugger print device, we can start to print a nice job on the mugger. After we put the lottery device, mugger device on Focus Alpha Jet, we can start to print the mugger. We find the mugger, the blanking mugger, and we put the mugger on the lottery device. And I must be sure to be checked check the the handle can be go through with the two loading freely so you can adjust the screw here here to make the distance same as the little bit bigger maybe two millimeter bigger than the handle and then you put on here to be sure we're not leaking here or like here like this is not working I put here on the top of the rubber ring and you push on the carriage and you can move our carriage to check the gap and to be sure that the handle will not scratch the print head and the carriage Just care carefully okay like this and then we can move from the control panel to move check it's working free or not and we move again to check okay picture safety then we pull up the emergency button and we can start print Okay, we go to the software and we plug in the dongle key for the rip and then we import to load the picture for printing on the mugger for example we want to print this picture and we right click the mouse to choose the side by 43.5 this is the size for the mugger and because this is a white marker, so we not put in the white ink, we click no, no white ink. And we just print. And we start to rip. Okay, now we start to print on the bottle with the lottery cylinder model. So first we go to the software, control software, and also we keep the machine power down, power on the machine, and open the control software. And from the control software, we can see right now it is flatbed model, flatbed machine model. So we must convert to cylinder to print out the bottle because the settings different. So we go to find on the icon named the switch machine, <coughs> switch printer. We click on and we choose cylinder machine. Before we click yes to converse, we must be sure there's nothing stay at the table to prevent the carriage and the, 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 the fabric moving. To be sure everything's okay, then we go to click yes. Then the machine will convert to cylinder setting. <coughs> The cat is actually moving up and down and move, move to the left, then back to the home position. Then it's convert already. And then we click exit. Then we can see the cylinder machine. It's show the cylinder machine model from the bottom here. That means the machine is convert to cylinder already. The setting or back to cylinder. And then we go some setting. Here we choose not full ink. For print the, the bottle, the varnish cannot use it. So we use first we choose the the size. The how many how many nodes of print how many nodes of print ink? Also as as I said before, it's dependent on the size, the cube, the cube size the gap, the cube gap of the material. If you print a big bottle, then you choose 
less more nozzles like <clears throat> one third or one fourth. If you the small bottle, small bottle we choose six or twelve or ten. So that's depending on the size of the bottle. The the diameter bigger then we choose the big number that like twelve or ten. The small the small uh, sorry the diameter is bigger then we choose a small small number. The diameter Damage of the bottle is bigger, then we choose the small number. So this is the size. Normally we choose six, one, one six for print. And here we choose middle and the right. Keep this spot. And here we choose white with varnish. Or as you only print white or print only color or white or varnish. For print white and color is used for print on the black bottle. And for print on the white bottle, if you do not want any results, you can choose only color. The, the varnish will not show on here. <clears throat> After we do some basic setting, then we can go to first install the cylinder, the rotary device to the machine. Again. Okay. And we check all the settings before we print. First, we be sure it's your cylinder machine here. Cylinder machine, convert to cylinder model, and we go to adjust and double check. We go to setting, and here we choose the number of diameter, how many nozzles working. So for this bar, this bar, this bar is small, so we choose one tenth. Up of the nozzle to print the middle size, print to right, and print with white and color because it's white, the black is a black bottle, no mineral, and safe. Remember, we must save all the setting after we change. Then we go to print, and here we must check the, the, the direction of the bottle, the direction of the picture, and then we go to task setting. And we check some settings and we check everything's okay. Then we can press click print. Okay, now we can see start printing. So we can see the picture spring out right now.
Okay. We can see it's after print and with good quality. We check. We can see the quality. Let's see the pic let's see the picture with good quality. Here we can take it out. Let me see. The nice marker that printed by focus alpha jet UV printer. Without any overlap and with good color resolution and high resolution, no pass lines. So, not job printed by Master B. If you want to learn more how to print, please connect with Focus Support T to find Master B for get the working experience, printing experience. Thank you. So, if you have any overlap for print the black bottle with white ink layer first. So see here, this is no overlap. So if you have any white, white ink coming out overlap, so we can do the setting, same as print the tape, print with flatbed motion. So we go to convert switch, switch to cylinder machine, and keep the machine under the cylinder machine model. And then we go to adjust here. And here we can also do, we choose the lottery. So here become the lottery already. We choose by lottery model. And here we can do all the settings same as flatbed as before, the same procedure and method. We do the, the step, the not, the not, the vertical, this is no need, same as flatbed, but the step, the head space and better luxury is different. Color adjust is same. The battle action, head space, step, we all the all the parameters we need to align it again for only only you only used for lottery flat lottery media. <clears throat> but the number we are not changing too much. It's only between between five, maximum five or ten number, digital numbers change. For example, if if the step adjustment the step for flatbed is 60162. So if we, if we print on the bottle, maybe just a 61, or 65 or four or 58, 59, like this. Only three to five digital number change, not change too much. And this, and also this was step and head space, the same. So left to right and the vertical and horizontal. And the color adjust, no change. Same as flat bits. The battle action you can small changes a little bit small. Normally this is no change. But if you have overlap for printer with bad action on the bottle, you still need to change a little bit. So if you change the number, change the parameter from here, so all the parameters we are only used for the lottery material. So we convert convert back to flat bits. The number will be changed back to, to flatbed, as the flatbed parameter as before we set. So that means these two suit of parameters, one suit for lottery, one suit for flatbed. And these two suit of parameter, we must uh, adjust uh, se se separately, unique. And if you still have a little bit overlap, you can go to the, the setting. For example, we print this picture, we have a little bit of overlap, and then we can go to the, the spot color here. And here we can select, we can cut the indent, this for, for blooding. 
we can cut by 0 0.3 or 0.2 millimeter for top flip or for cut. But if you print a small words, small character, you need to reduce the number. If you print a bigger image, you can put big more, more the increase the number. So this is for also for blooding. The same as the blooding here for the for the rip, same as the rip from here, the spot color here, the blooding here. But here we just uh, opened it by minus zero point fifty five. So if you put already from here. Then here we not need, not need the set, but if you still a little bit overlap, you can still set from here. And this is also this function is also working well for flatbed version. When you go to the flatbed model, if a little bit overlap, you can go still go to the overlap the spot channel, and you select this kind of setting by minus three minus two. After you select, you must click save. For example, we put by zero point three. For the top, but we must uh, click save. Otherwise, if you're not working, must click save for save the parameter. Then we go back for print. So this is a procedure to do the do the calibration for uh, for the lottery device as step, headspace, color adjustment, and bed election, and for the spot blooding setting. So this is all the setting. The procedure and the method is same as flatbed version. So after we finish the print bottle, we want to print, print on the table on the flatbed and the flatbed version model. So we need to convert to the flatbed model. We go to a switch printer and we choose flatbed and then click yes. And keep the machine power on. Then we go to click exit. So now the machine is under flatbed version, flatbed model. We can print the head, print the flatbed material. And the machine starts to do self testing. We can remove the bottle from the, from the jig. Then we move out the carriage. Remember before we put a tape on the top of the bottom of the varnish printing head. So we need to press left. And then we remove the tape on the bottom of the, the carri carriage. So we put the tape for print, print the bottle, we remove the tape. When we don't want to print the with bottle, we print the flat bit. So we remove the protection tape. So the tape move out. And then we can, we can, we, we must be sure here is no have any, don't put any tapes with glue. Glue is at the both sides. And then we throw away. So after we remove the tape, then we can place X home from the software to make the machine the carriage back to home position. So now also then we remove remove the, the rotary jig device from the flat bit by loosening the four screw, two at the left and two at the right. And another two holes is used for you print with another diameter that cannot, uh, the small diameter bottle you can move to front, this wheels. I loosen the four screw, two at the left and two at the right to move to the front. And then the totally device move to forward. And they adjust the same position of the, the print head. So after we remove 
the jigs from the table, and we can we can continue to print the flat bits. So just remember all the procedure for print the bottle and print the tape, print the flat bit material. It's difference. Thank you.